we're starting watching The Mask. Let's go ahead and watch this. Oh, oh! Looney Tunes. <laughs> I got those <laughs> concert tickets you wanted. For Friday night. <laughs> Stanley, this is great. So what time should I pick you up? My very best girlfriend just came into town, and I know she would die to go to this. They're out. They're sold out. That um, means there's no more. Mm. Well, I just can't let her sit home all alone. Why don't you just go with your friend? Oh. <laughs> this is Stanley. I couldn't do that. <laughs> Yes, you could. Stanley, you are the nice guy. Uh, really, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't Stanley the nicest guy? <laughs> that was the most sickening display I've ever seen. I think I'm wearing her down. But you know what you need? You need a little change of pace. Tell me more, Buana. Trust me, buddy. Yeah. This is going to be the perfect night on the town. Hold the phone. Excuse me, where can I open a new account? New accounts right here. <laughs> what kind of account do you have in mind? I'm not sure exactly. You see, I'm just terrible with things like that. <laughs> That's an interesting time, Mr. Stanley Ipkiss. Tina Carlisle, pleased to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, checking. Savings and checking. CDs, savings and <gasps> CDs, or we could just take all your money and throw it in a big mattress back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, is she a thief? She was looking at the, the looking at the, looking at the safe. She's a thief. Just a little bit to the right. So what do you think? But you can't pull this off, right? Hey, you talking to the doctor? What does Nico have to say about all this? Nothing. Get real, man. Everything is his grift. He owns you. He owns this whole stinking town. Things change. Mess with Nico, you end up taking a dirt nap. But we need some cash. So first we take the bank, we take Nico, and then my friend's school is out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, here for the sick. The brake drum's a shot, and you need a new transmission. Well, you're lucky you put these problems down before they cause you some serious trouble. There's no price. It will be. I have to have a car tonight. Hey, you! Bring around the loner. The loner? The loner? Ooh, oh, ooh. It's a classic! Stanley, gals, why don't you meet my buddy, Stanley Ipkiss? <laughs> Yo, oh, no! How you doing, buddy? Charlie, how you how doing? How are you? How you doing, my I'm friend? No hey, good to see you. See you on the inside. Oh. Uh, Charlie! Charlie! Right. Mistake. <laughs> Never cross the rope. No, but my friends are on the inside. Who's a pole? Who's drinking? Your car, sir. <laughs> That's not my car. <laughs> Very angry! He's just so clumsy. Hey, mister! Ugh. I was about to say, there's no way he's putting that on his face. Hey, you! He's just wrapped up in trash. What are you doing down there? Looking for... <laughs> My mask! <laughs> Do you have any idea what time it is? <gasps> <gasps> well, this is coming right out of your security deposit, Ipkiss. You know, Mrs. Peenman. What? Nothing. Well, that's what you are, Ipkiss. How big nothing? Aren't you due back at the laboratory to get your bolts tightened? <sighs> oh, here's a doggy. Hello. What do you want? You want me to throw that? I gotta throw it with you attached to it. Oh. So, Dr. Newman, you're saying that everybody wears a mask? That's correct, Wendy. 
We all wear masks, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. <laughs> this movie means it's something completely together. different in today's time. <laughs> the masks we wear. That's correct, Wendy. <laughs> That's correct, Wendy. <laughs> Metaphorically speaker. Party time! <laughs> Survive. <laughs> it's actually giving live action Looney Tunes. <laughs> I think he wants to communicate. <laughs> Got the time? As a matter of fact, I do, Cubby. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> exactly two seconds before I honk your nose and pull your underwear over your head. I turn around. There you go, son. Now get out of here. You're bothering me. A French poodle. Sorry, son. The dog was rabbit. Had to put it down. And last but... With these powers, I could be a superhero. <laughs> I could fight crime, protect the innocent. But first... Wow. Oh, I was snapping and uh, it, it, it. That, that pig up there. <laughs> so like, how does the mask come off or how do you get it to come off? Because I just assumed that since he had it on, it was going to be on for forever. What's a dream? <laughs> What's a dream? Gotta lay off the cartoons. <laughs> Ipkiss? Stanley Ipkiss? Yes. Lieutenant Kellaway, City Precinct. Do you know anything about the disturbance last night? The popo. Disturbance? Yeah, some kind of prowler broke in and attacked Mrs. Peenman. You didn't hear anything? <laughs> she unloaded a couple of rounds of 20 odd buckshot five feet from your door. He put that right in my floor and then he jumped out the window. Impossible. Those pajamas <laughs> are impossible. This actually happened. <laughs> Why is he coming for his wardrobe? I mean, your ear problem. <laughs> Sometimes I can't hear anything. That a fact? <coughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is my car. Hey. If you remember anything at all, call me. <sighs> Late! Don't put it on, bro. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, I was, <clears throat> I was about to say, what if somebody else got their hands on it? I'm with the Evening Star. Can you tell me what happened here? No, and you can quote me. Well, it looks like some sort of mob tactic. Come on, get these rubbish <laughs> out of here. Where were you last night? The girls and I were looking all over for you. Did you happen to look outside in the gutter? Hey, did you check the morning paper? Your girlfriend got a great review. You're 40 minutes late. Now, that's the same as stealing. I'm sorry, Mr. Dickey. It, it'll never happen again. I've girly pictures, you might actually get some work done around here. Uh, sir, she's a prospective client of Stanley's. Gee, I wish my daddy owned a bank. You think she'll ever come back, Charlie? A girl like that is always looking for the BBD, the bigger, better deal. You don't know that, Charlie. You don't need her, man. You need somebody a little more down to earth. Somebody with some integrity. Red hair, white blouse, a green jacket, and a name tag. Hello there. May I be of some assistance? Stanley Ipkiss. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Peggy Brandt from the Tribune. Look, I canceled my subscription because they kept stealing my paper from Oh, outside. no, no. Actually, I just want to ask you a few questions. You don't own an 89 Civic? 
Oh, that car, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> Miss, uh, what'd you say your name was? Peggy Brandt. Wait a minute. Peggy Brandt? Yeah, that's right. You printed one of my letters last year. You're Mr. Nice Guy? <laughs> yes! There are literally hundreds of women out there looking for a guy just like you. You know how hard it is to find a decent man in this town? Most of them think monogamy some kind of wood. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. I'm sorry. It's just his mannerisms. When you were at Ripley Auto, did you see anything suspicious? Anything at all? I wish I knew the truth. You know, I really do. If you think of anything, this is my number. You really think hundreds of women are looking for a guy like me? Sure. Hello, Dorian. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Wait, why is he talking like that? Hello, Louie. Oh, no. The cops uh, tried to shut the club down this morning. They say you've been using the place to run your own small time scheme. Not around my head. I'm going to cut you a break. One week to get out of town. I'll use your empty little skull to break in my new nine iron. Oh, just get out of town, man. Don't put on the mask, man. <laughs> Don't do it. I just couldn't resist. Oh boy! <laughs> Hold on, sugar! Ah. He's got a sweet tooth tonight! Uh, uh. Somebody stop me! Please! Can't make the scene if you don't have the green. <laughs> make it <a> stab. <laughs> How's it going, Freeze? <clears throat> Looking good here, my man. Okay, you boys are on your own now. The doctor is about to operate. Please. Wow. Made that easy. Sorry, fellas. Where's not what not? <laughs> <laughs> wow, and they're gonna get caught. But I believe my friends are. Perhaps you know them. Franklin, Grant, and Jackson. <laughs> no, but my friends are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rock this joint! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Come on, Jim Carrey with the moves. Oh wow! 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 They didn't take him to a hospital? He's gonna die! That's gonna put Stanley in big trouble. That's the guy! I want to know what my money is, and I want to know right now. Okay. 8% in stocks and bonds. Carry the nine, divide by the gross national product. Fortunately, funeral bouquets are deductible. Oh. <laughs> you got me, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bill, going home this Christmas. Pardon me. The audience. Warrant this time? What I got is probable cause. Oh. A couple of your boys were spotted knocking over Red City Bank. Hey. Except it wasn't one of my boys. We got a stiff upstairs. It's one of the guys from the heist. You and I are going downtown for a little chat. Get him out of here. 
Oh no. When he, he picked on his outfit, that's gonna give him away. Blake! <sighs> oh, oh, oh! Oh! You can't get rid of that. Hi, Lieutenant. Listen, this isn't the uh, best time right now. Mm. I just. Can you, are you even allowed to come into his house? Where were you last night, Ipkiss? Here, mostly. What do you know about this mask character? He robs the bank you work in, and then I find this in the Coco Bongo. Milo, no! <laughs> Milo! May I see those pajamas, Mr. Ipkiss? Pajamas? Those, those, uh, those pajamas were stolen. Somebody stole your pajamas? Milo! Oh, no. Wow, look at that guy. Nobody's that fast at my bank. Looks like this guy beat him <clears> with a punch. Get the bank employee files and run down the prints on a guy named Ipkiss, Stanley Ipkiss. Oh, no. Uh, I want him here tomorrow alive. Come on, let's go. Stanley, turn around. We have a crisis on our hands here, and you stroll in over an hour late? <laughs> if I have to put up with your slovenly behavior, you back off, monkey boy. Before I tell your daddy you're running this place like it's your own personal piggy bank. <sighs> That'll be all, Ipkiss. I don't know. The mask is starting to alter his personality. Two tickets to the charity ball at the Coco Bongo Club this Saturday night. Wait just a minute. I'm not sure if I'm going to have much to open an account with anymore. You didn't stop by just to see me, did you? The guy they say robbed this place. I think he was at the club last night. They say he's pretty weird looking. You ought to see him dance. Wait, he do got the moves. I mean, he was dancing. I better be going. You'd like to see him again, wouldn't you? Wouldn't mind. I know him, you know. <laughs> Stanley? We're old college buddies, him and me. Oh, college yeah. buddies. <laughs> it's funny you should mention the way he dances because... Uh, I taught him. <laughs> I taught him a couple of dance moves myself. <laughs> I might be able to work something out. How about at Manfield Park? Okay. Looks like fourth or fifth century Scandinavian. This is a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Your book. My book is about masks as a metaphor, Mr. Epkus. A metaphor, <laughs> a not metaphor. to be taken literally. But I am not responsible for the consequences. I bet it won't Just work. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. It's supposed to be awkward. It won't work. myself or the mask oh wait wow that just got really deep you, really fast I to leave my office right wow now. go as yourself and as the mask is there a both one and the same beautiful person just keep the SWAT team standing by SWAT if this guy's half as bad as he's supposed to be we're gonna have a full dance guard no no Stanley I, I just wanted to come by and, and make sure that you two got together all right I I hardly ever stop by here. It's kind of hard to believe it was just a garbage heap. Really beautiful, right around sunset. The methane emissions really... Ah! Uh, 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 <laughs> there was an aurora. All those pinks. Methane emissions. Ah, yes. My friend will uh, be along here any minute. I, I, I better go. Stanley. Stanley. Oh, no. We met again. Is it written in the stars? That we <laughs> written are dead? in the stars? This is Callaway. I need backup and I need it now. Freeze! Oh! All right, all right, on freeze! You're under arrest. What are they gonna do to me, Sarge? What are they gonna do? <laughs> Acting range. <laughs> Cops got your pal Ipka staked out at Landfill Park. Let me cover it, Murray. I really need this story. And then you can go home to Claire. Small mop bass. Wow. Rolling pin. Ah. Bazooka. I have a permit for that. <laughs> Picture of Killaway's wife. What? Uh oh. So I figured you had a sense of humor. After all. Yo, Murray, huh? Ah! <laughs> Get him! Dial! <laughs> Whoa! Hit it! Not another dance scene. Please! Hey!
Like, see a Jim Carrey dance? Something I didn't know I needed. Huh. <laughs> the police officer? Oh. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. It's giving Bob Fosse. Oh, he can take it off? That Peggy? Stanley, get in! There he is! I missed him. <coughs> Come on! We all missed him. For real. I'm losing control. When I put that mask on, I can do anything. Be anything. Look, I don't know what's happening to you, Stanley. That letter that you sent my column, that was from a guy with more guts and more heart than any of the creeps that I've met in this city. Whatever that mask is, you don't need it. Stanley Ipkiss are already all you'll ever need to be. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> like the overall theme. You don't have to put on that mask. You're perfect just the way you are. No. Huh? What? No! No! What took you guys so long? I've been no! here for like 20 minutes. No! Peggy! Wow, Peggy. Mask he turns into that green thing in the jig. But you really are a great guy. I just can't lose my condo. Okay, Peggy. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh! Why he turned into the Incredible Hulk? You okay? Better than ever, you idiot. <laughs> Better than ever, you idiot. <laughs> what do we do with Ipkiss? The police are looking for the mask. Oh! So we'll give them the mask. <laughs> <laughs> my love, don't hurt the dog. Don't hurt the dog. Bite him, my love. Bite him. <laughs> okay, detective dog. Go, my love. Go, 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 go. I'm history. The captain's gonna have my badge for breakfast. Stanley Ipkiss is gonna fall right into my lap. I can explain everything. Oh, yeah? Can you explain everything? Um. Get him up! Come on! Milo? Milo? Ah! Hey, you, with the face. Yeah, we all have that. You got a visitor. Tina. What are you doing here? Is it true? You're the mask. Yeah, but don't tell anybody. If I uh, get a good lawyer and strike up a deal, I can be out of here in about 10,000 years. <laughs> Your boyfriend might be uh, a little upset. Going to the charity ball tonight. He's going to do something terrible. There's got to be a way to stop him. It's like it, it, it brings your innermost desires to life. If deep down inside you're a little repressed and a hopeless romantic, you become some sort of a love-crazy wild man. And if you're somebody like Dorian? Then we're all in big trouble. And if I were you, I'd get out of town. Fast. Thanks. It's the guy inside the mask. It's you. All along. Time's up. <laughs> could, could I have just one more minute? <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I'll let you know as soon as I can. Mm -hmm. ah! oh! Oh! There's a woman being chased through the alleyway there. Come on! Yeah, yeah, sure. Keep it down, Lipkiss. Man! Come on! Serpent protect, man! Ah! I just went to see what Ipkiss told them. Oh, that's right. You and Stanley, right? Look what I found in our car. You want to trip without me, baby? No. Boys, I want you to pick her out something pretty to wear, okay? Come on, my love. Don't please do it for daddy. <laughs> Go get those keys. Go get those keys. Go get them. Go get the keys. No, not the cheese. The keys. <laughs> Ah, so oh. oh, 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 Stanley! Ah! Hold it! I am warning you. I'm seriously stressed out here. There is no way you're walking out of here like this. You're gonna take me out as your prisoner. Put it on! Ow. Stanley, you got the wrong guy. I tell you, it's a bum rap. I got my rights. Oh no. Ooh! 
<laughs> Why? Why? I'm just an ex employee. Come on. Ah, come on. Why is he like this? <laughs> No, sir. See. It's important to go out with a big party. Mm. Look, take this spot and start sneaking people out the back. This party's over in 10 minutes. <laughs> it's, I don't know why they, they bother to bring the explosive in if it don't go on for a long time. Got a whole 10 minutes to stop it. This party's over in 10 minutes. Milo. What a dog. Right. Look who decided to crash the party. Hi, Dorian. Bring him up here! Milo! Run, Milo! Sally! Oh, I thought he was going to put the mask back on. It's all over now! She's not getting out. You gotta put on the mask. <coughs> no! Wait, is Milo gonna put on? That's possible? I'm winning. <laughs> Bro, that was such a time. It's about to blow. The bomb, y'all. <laughs> now you have to ask yourself one question <laughs> Do I feel lucky? Do you? <laughs> Okay, but the ball, the ball. Oh! That's a spicy meet the ball. Oh no. This guy's incorrigible. <sighs> you were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see? Officers, I've got you now. Watch it, Chunky. Mayor Tilton. That man is the mask. No, Dorian Tyrell was the mask. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, you're a real hero. Doyle. He got off just Milo, like that. Come on. Mayor Tilton, did you see that? Leave dog? the dog alone. I want to see you in my office first thing tomorrow morning. Boy, that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> Doyle. You sure you know what you're doing, buddy? Then do what you got to do. Where is he going? No! Bro. I think this genre of film in today's time is dead. This it really reminded me of Batman Forever, even though I've never seen that movie. It's just the style and the aesthetic of it came out in 1995, but it looks just like that. And you don't see movies like that anymore, like almost like this, the Space Jam, Inspector Gadget, Roger Rabbit. This movie felt like it fit right in there. And I think The Mask, I mean, it was a comedic movie, but overall, it just had that deep theme about who, who are people really? Are you hiding behind a mask? And is that mask truly bringing out who you really are on the inside? Like, I feel like we could, you could just... Cut that up, tear that apart, and really dissect that. It feels like there's something to that. And I think Jim Carrey is Stanley. Just his mannerisms. They were so over the top. But you know like how you can have like a, a cheesy or a comedic movie, but it just comes off as cheesy and really just bleh. Like I would say the story was so simple. Like Stanley, normal guy, uh, can't get the girl, works at a bank. Everybody overlooks him, he can't get anything, but then he gets a mask that turns him into somebody that is completely opposite of who he is, and then he starts to experience things that he's always wanted. So very basic storyline, but I think all the elements thrown in there with production design, the singing, the dancing, the dancing. You know what I need right now? You know what I need? A Jim Carrey dance flick. Please, please, because I really think there's something there. It was something about seeing the mask dance like this This could have been a musical easily, but I saw that it was a, a, a dark horse 
Dark Horse property. So is the mask is a previous previously established like comic book series or like superhero? Is that is that what the mask is really? Like I said, the style of this movie it had a 1920s aesthetic, but at the same time a cartoonish style like Looney Tunes, live action. I would say we we don't have movies like that anymore. I think that that style died off for sure in the 90s. I don't think we had any like recent movies that really took on that style and uh, played to that and I think that that would be a very interesting comeback in today's film industry and will it make it because we have become so RC serious generation at times uh, when it comes to film and it has to be like professional I mean this movie was professionally shot but I'm saying with the production sign with the production design and the larger than life characters there's certain things you could have got away with in the 90s that may not stick in uh, the late 2000s or mid 2000s I'm up for the resurgence of this style for sure I'm an advocate so let's make it happen but um yeah I thought this movie was entertaining. It was entertaining. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you'd like to see more content, click on one of these over here. Until next time, guys.